Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Look what's happened. We are under attack and we have to defend our base. So, kind of like what Westland does with the, um, uh, with the raiders, same deal. So, the outlaws are attacking in Westland, we have the pirates that are attacking in Mutiny. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get to it. Now, I did actually sort of kind of prepare myself because I knew this was going to happen. So I do have a few things ready to go, heals, weapons, things like that. I should be okay. This is my first um, ever uh, attack on my base in Mutiny, so it's going to be interesting. I don't have the luxury of good weapons and things like that like I do in Westland. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a interesting situation that we're going to be in. So let's jump into it first base attack i'm hoping that my base is going to hold up i hope they don't steal anything and run away with things so let's see where these guys are at Oop. if i can now fortunately the um the gun here isn't as quick as i would like it to be unfortunately but we are making a little bit of strides here one fella's already in look at him go hey get out of here buddy Oh, well that was easy, took all these fellas out, out of problem, kind of took all of my stuff as well at the same time, so let's go ahead and uh, repair all of that, and uh, let's see if there was anything else that the other raiders had tried to take out of my base here, yeah, so he did take a few things off me, unfortunately, but Look like I got things back, which is good. And only four pirates had only sort of come out, and which is good. There's the map. So we're, we're definitely going to take that and head over to their little hotspot. So we can obviously do away with them as well. So what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm just going to dump a few things here and there. And grab ourselves a axe. Which I believe is what we're going to need is probably the only thing that I'm after. Oh, sorry, the only thing that I require actually. So, do I have any space to drop some things off? I don't think I do. I've got things all over the place at the moment, as you can see. And I just want to make sure that I do have... Oh, there's the pickaxe that I probably would be taking with me. So, you know what? Let's equip that. The gun did its job, which I'm happy about. I've got so much heals being that which I really don't need to take with me so let's go ahead and uh, drop you off it's here of course there we go and I should have an empty slot for that very good okay I think we're good yeah so not too bad so black spots lair has been found you have found a pirate cache and it's likely not uh, being guarded well that's what we want to hear isn't that right people so we're going to go over, we're going to suss out what is over there and any sort of loot that we can sort of get our hands on, obviously we are going to take. But nice and easy, it wasn't too bad. I expected a little bit more. Ooh, this event is far away. Would have liked it to be not in the other direction. That's all good. But we'll go ahead and just see what is what over here. Okay, there we go. We get in there. There we go. We're here. Alright, so it's a one skull zone. Now, I would think there should be only one little um, henchman there. I think like they do in Westland. So, once we've gotten past that, everything is open season. So, whatever is there, we sh should be able to take home with us. I do want to get some of those palm trees. So... Okay, pretty easy, not going to lie, very easy, four chests that we can sink our teeth into, so we will most definitely get all of these, um, okay, I've got the, the storage capacity so I should be okay with this, and there's that one here, okay, 
Uh, this card will interact with, unfortunately. Oh uh, well, doesn't matter. But we can definitely interact with this one in here. Um, okay. And let's bust open this door down. Come on. Taking a while, aren't you? And the big boy chest that we've got here. Oh yes, thank you. I think I only need one more row lock and I, I can finally do the boat. Yes, that is good. I'm actually happy that I've got that now. But everything else here, very good as well. Tar, we've got some bronze weapon parts as well. New gun. And yeah, that looks good, good, good. Okay, so things that I'm not gonna need. Well, to be honest, that can go this is going to break by the time I actually hit a palm tree, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I've got 20 planks, so not a problem. Clothing-wise, I do want to take that. That can stay, and that can stay. Perfect. Yeah, okay. But I'm really happy that I've got that, because I know I've got one in my infantry. I've got one at base. I've got the third one now. I need one more. And that's the only thing I need. But I know that I'm missing out on metal scrap, so I'm gonna to have to do a bit of hunting for some metal scraps at the moment because, well, I think I need about 80 or so. We'll head back to base and we'll suss that out, but I'm pretty sure I need about 80 of that just to um, finish off the slip. I think it's called the slip. I'm calling it the boat, but I'm pretty sure it's called the slipway, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll find out in a tick, won't we? But yeah successful so look i think it's probably a good thing for you guys to well you know maybe anger the pirates enough so you can get nice rewards like this i hadn't done it and i was i've sort of been a little bit cautious and only because that i hadn't had well i didn't think i had enough to defend the base and look after everything else in between so that was probably the only reason why that i sort of tiptoed around that sort of stuff and didn't really want to sort of engage into it you know really early so I guess in a way a little bit late coming to the party doing that I know the game's been out for about a couple of weeks so yeah but you know what it's good now that I've done it I'm okay now I think it's always the way with new things that you don't know what's going on or how to sort of tackle it or whatever but there's the broken slipway so yeah, I'm gonna need 80 metal scrap, and I do not have that. This can be crafted, not a problem, as would this be. I've got a ton of those, ton of those. Just gotta get one more of these bad boys, and this, well, I may as well put that towards that already, and at least get that underway. May as well do that as well. And the tar is obviously going to be our use of transportation, which is like the oats equivalent for our horses over in Westland, so all relative on that front there and yeah that's pretty much it so what I might do is I might just store everything here as I sort of go along yeah so I've got 40 here now 42 I know I'm gonna definitely need more so a little bit over the halfway mark but yeah I really need to make sure that as soon as I see some scrap metal it's a priority for me to um, uh, take that on my inventory and take it with me. Now these sugar canes, do I want to keep them? I'm not too sure, honestly. Um, I'll let that fella go in there, that can go in there. Um, let's see how I can disperse all of this because now that I've got limited amount of storage, not the greatest situation to be in, obviously, but I'm trying to sort of work a way to wean everything across. Which right now at this point, I don't actually have anything. I've been, I'm really just throwing things here and there and everywhere. Just sort of trying to make it work. Which is always the hardest thing to do, really. Um, I think I can drop you into that, which is good. And uh, I really don't want to take that with me, honestly. 
Is there any way that I can throw things? You know what, I'm going to be spending way too, too much time in doing these things. I just value that a little bit more, that's all. Alright. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much where we're at with things. With regards to the um, raiding, well, the pirates, I guess. And hopefully my next, well, real, realistically, I'm sort of knocking everything out, you know, one by one. So a few things that I haven't done before, like um, the whole pirate raiding scheme. And now for everything else that I want to do is the slip is going to be the next thing I really want to tackle down. Um, I really want to head over to here. Um, that changes in... Oh, okay, I didn't actually notice that will change in one day in 21 hours. Is that... I don't think I've seen that before. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Well, obviously you've got to go over here for that sort of... I mean, you need the supply for that. Okay. So these are on a, on a constant timer. That's cool. I didn't actually realize that was the case. Honestly, had no idea that was actually the case. Well, that's cool. Shall we go out to one of these? I think we should. Let's go out to this one. I'm going to spend the money. And depending on how fast we get through this... Actually, you know what? I didn't bring an axe with me, but I think I do have one in my inventory, so I think I should be right with that. Um, I don't want to use any of the bronze axes, actually, to be honest, so... Got a copper axe. Should be okay with that. So as you can see, there's there's my, my other one locked there. So yeah, like I said, I've got three. And it's just all the matter of getting... The scrap iron now, the little scrap metal. Alright, so let's take you out, let's have a look at uh, play eight, eight, oh, sorry, 187? Yeah, 187, sorry. Recording is fairly late, guys, so. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, there's a bit of a glitch, glitch happening there. So we're gonna have to, oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, you just, you know. Oh my god, oh, okay. Okay, I see how it is. These guys here just want to, you know, do a bit of double teaming here. Alright, and... What a pesky little bugger. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And as you can see, I've got a beautiful new, um... Uh, what do you call it? I don't know, brand new attire. Looks very nice, a bit frilly. Don't know what to make of it, but yeah. Very interesting. Anyway, will I find myself an axe? Ooh. Don't have to use one of the um the other axes that I had in my inventory. That's always nice. So these are all just all little basic things, I guess. You get little bits and pieces here. Nothing out of the ordinary, I guess. Can't really interact with that. Can't really interact with that. And it was telling me here that I needed to use the axe to break this fella down, which we've just done now, so nothing in there. Okay. Can I interact with you? No, I cannot. Actually, you know what? It would have been beneficial for me to bring some heals with me, but do I have any uh, decent heals on me. That's the problem. That's the question. Well, let's just take that. And I might just have to take some of the, the meat that I have here just so I can heal up a little bit. Because I'm definitely going to need it. And this should just heal me just that little bit, I think. Okay. But what I might do is I might switch to this tomahawk over here because this would provide better um, better attack. And you probably would have guessed it. I think we're going to do a bit of a sweep here and we'll go around the other... Um, <clears throat> excuse 
excuse me. We'll probably go around the other player AI bases over here. We'll suss those out as well while we're doing it. So it's a bit of a raid of all the places that we've got here. So there's that one. You can't visit here for some reason. The pirates camp. Don't know what that is all about. All right, so let's get into the next base and see what we can do with this. I don't know if it's anything different. I'm guessing they look all the same, just about. All right, so. Okay, let's just chase this fella here. And, okay, got one more in us, perfect. And this fella here is gonna come after us. And the quicker that we can hit this fella, Perfect. All right, not too bad. And again, let's um, check out everything here. So they look to, to be the same style of base. Fortunately, nothing else in here for us to grab. Nothing to grab over here. Um, can't interact with that. Let's open up this. Same stock, same things. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in the small box. And just a little bit in here. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to start eating into that. And I may have to reach into inbox again, take the dried fish. And unfortunately, I don't have anything else on me. So that's not good. But let's, um... okay, so 40 food, healing over time is 30. Just gonna eat two of those and we'll head back out and uh, we'll see the next base I guess I've already done the one at the bottom but I just wanted to sort of do a sweep and see I don't know whether or not is there a reward of doing all of these guys you know in a specified time frame that I'm not too sure so it would be nice if that was the case but, I don't know. If there was any sort of timer on these things, you guys would actually have a, an ability to come back, I guess. But if I do a bit of a sneaky deaky on this one. Oh, he's seen me. Oh, missed. All right, well this guy, this guy's a little bit annoying. Look at him, he just takes off on me. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to survive this. And that's the annoying thing. Can I just do quickly... Before he comes and... Okay. Well, it's probably something I should have looked into. Considering that... If I can sort of make my way around without sort of getting attacked or anything like that. So I can come back out here. He's obviously patrolling, obviously trying to find me. And oop, don't wanna don't wanna anger him. But oop no no he's got a little pattern. He's got a little pattern that he that he walks around with in. And if I get too close, he just needs to go out, which he won't. And unfortunately, as much as I want to, I unfortunately don't have enough health, or I should have bought some health with me, honestly. But to be honest, I got some pretty decent loot, you know. I got three sets of uh, axes and pick pickaxes, so this would really help out, especially for you guys if you are struggling to you know, uh, craft your own pick, uh, axes and pickaxes and things like that. If you're in that little loop where you're not able to um, craft them as much as you can and use that for farming resources and things like that, this is a really good alternative. Even if you've got some, you know, a decent gun or two or things like that, you should be able to 
Yep, no, 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 no. We are heading out. He is going to come at me. Okay. Yeah, so it's really good to, you know, see if you can sneak your way in. I doubt that you'll be able to. You're going to have to take out one of them, and I think it's going to be the guy with the bow and arrow. But I think that's uh, user own risk, I guess, at the end of the day, guys. So we've got the, t uh, the timer, so that's going to change. And I would think that would reset, so you get to do it all over again. So I don't know whether it'd be so much for early stage players, but maybe players intermittent in the middle somewhere. You probably benefit doing the sweep of these four AI bases every couple of days. And at least this way you guys can sort of replenish, um, especially, uh, you know, your tools. So axe and pickaxes. So yeah, hopefully you guys would enjoy this one today. But um, I think that's going to go ahead and leave it. I think we did a lot in this video, so defended our base, raided a few bases ourselves. I'm not going to do the fourth one here because I think you guys get the point at this stage. But if you ended up enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below. If you guys are new to the channel, seeing what you like, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because you know I'm going to make more videos. Anyway guys, take it easy and as always, I will catch you guys next time.